Hi everyone, it's Matt Chapman here for Sun Racing. I've been asked to give you a banker for Royal Ascot 2020 and also the horse that will blow out at a shortish kind of price. Okay, so I'm going both on the first day. I think I have to take on Circus Maximus. It's almost a personal grudge against the horse. He'll probably go and hack up in the Queen Anne, but I will be taking Circus Maximus on over the straight mile. And the banker has to be Batash. Some will say he doesn't get home over the stiff five at Ascot, but he's still done miles better over that stiff five than most horses ever do. And I think he's just in a totally different league in the King stand. So hopefully Circus Maximus to go down and Batash the Batmobile to go in. Boom. It is fantastic to have Royal Ascot this week and for many, the two bankers will be Batash in the King stand stakes on opening day and then the Ascot Gold Cup Stradivarius later in the week, but I think one of those two might end up being a blowout. The horse I'm worried about is Batash in the King Stand. Uh, he's come here as either favourite or very close to favourite for the past two years and not managed to win. Uh, I don't think Ascot suits him ideally, and uh, although the crowd's not there um, because he's a buzzy horse, I still think uh, there's enough to worry about to not want to take the prices of roughly 8 to 13 about Batash in the King Stand. Uh, Stradivarius, on the other hand, ran well in the Coronation Cup the other day, has won this race for the past two years with no Ascot suits, his main rival, Q Gardens, is out. Uh, and if you're looking for a banker, an odds-on banker for the week, at roughly the same price as Batash, Stradivarius has to be the one. Whatever happens, I'm sure we'll have plenty of bankers and blowouts, so the best of luck with all your bets. My banker for Royal Ascot 2020 comes in the Ribblesdale Stakes on day one. Uh, I think Frankly Darling is going to take the world of beating for Gosden and Dottori. She was very impressive at Newcastle on her reappearance and the extra uh, yardage here will suit her. And I think my blowout is going to be Pinatubo in the St James's Palace Stakes. I think he's still got an engine. He ran perfectly well in the Guineas, but I think they should be dropping him back and running him in the Commonwealth. I think he's well worth a crack at sprint trips. So they're my banker and blowouts for this year. Hello, um, I've been told you would like my banker and blowout with the rest of the Sun Racing team. Um, they both come on the opening day, um, so it'll either be a very good day or a very bad day. Um, my blowout is Vedana Blue in the um, closing Ascot Stakes. Um, I just don't think she'll stay at all, and I think this is a bit of an experiment. Um, she's probably only so short as it's old Nicky Henderson with Ryan Moore booked up. Um, my banker is Duke of Hazard in the Queen Anne um, for the brilliant Cole team. Um, once again, he's going under the radar. This stiff mile should zoom down to the ground and I reckon he'll be finishing faster than most here. Thank you and a good luck. Hi everybody, my banker for Royal Ascot is Sofika in the Sandringham Handicap. This horse is really unexposed, finished second in the Sweet Solera last season. That was a really hot race. I think she's going to come on plenty as a three-year-old. I think a mark of 97 could well underestimate her, as I think she'll be a Group 1 filly, and hopefully Ryan Moore can guide her to victory in the Sandringham. And my blowout for the meeting is Batash in the King's Fan Stakes. He's not managed to win at Ascot yet in plenty of starts, and I think Glass Slippers may be the one to overhaul him this year. It's not going to get any easier for him as he gets older, and I think that little bit of panache, that little bit of speed, may just have waned. So hopefully... Glass Slippers can overhaul Batash in the King's Stand. That's my banker and blowout for Royal Ascot 2020. Love it.